Hey everyone, it's John here. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at how we can do a conditional fill down in Power Query. So the example I've got set up here, we've got some data for stock prices and there's no stock price available on the weekends here. And so what we wanna do is we wanna fill the last available price down through the weekends so that we can use that as the uh, stock price. Now, the problem here is that we have two different uh, stocks. And so I don't want to fill the price for B down through the values for A. And now if I just do a regular fill down here, that's exactly what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna get incorrect prices for A. And if I sort this by uh, the stock, I could get A as the last value, but then I'll get incorrect values for B. So what we actually need to do is conditionally fill down the price. So let's take a look at this. So first let's get our data into Power Query. Let's go to the data tab and we're going to use a table range query here. And so here's our data in Power Query. And like I said, if we right click here and fill and fill down, then what's gonna happen is that incorrect price for B is gonna propagate through as the price for A, and we don't want that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this fill down step here. I'm gonna go back to my last step before that fill down. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to the transform tab and I'm gonna use a group by command first. So let's insert that step. And in our group by what we're gonna do is we're gonna group by the stock. So that's what we wanna conditionally fill down based on. So let's group by stock. And for the aggregation, we're not going to do anything. We're just going to return all the rows of data. So I'm just gonna call this data and let's press okay. And you can see what we get is the two stocks here. And then for each of them I have the actual data grouped into a table there. So you can see that here, I've just got stocks for A, and then here, stock B as well. And now if I was to individually fill down the price for each of these tables, what I would get is the correct data that I want. So filling down this top price here would result in the correct stock price for B over the weekend dates there. So how can we do that inside of our group by? So let's go up to the formula bar here and you can see this uh, for each step and this little underscore here acts as a variable. So what this formula is doing is grouping our data for the stock field uh, and for each value of our stocks. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the formula that was created from our fill down step here. Let's just copy this and go back to our grouped rows step. And what I'm gonna do is replace this underscore, which is a variable with that formula. And now what I'm filling down is not this grouped rows step, it's actually going to be that variable that I replaced and we're gonna fill down the price column. So that looks good. Let's hit the okay button here. And now if I look inside either of these tables, we should see that price as filled down over the weekend dates. Let's take a look at this other table here. Same thing. And now I can come to my fill down step and just delete that. And in my group step, now that everything's filled down, I'm going to expand out that column. So we've already got the stock field. We don't need to have that again. Let's fill, uh, expand out our date and price fields. Press OK. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of rearranging here. And let's turn this into a date. And there we go, we've got our conditionally filled down data and we can go to the file tab and load this into Excel. And 
again, let's just check this out. So let's sort this by date. And so we can see that we've got the correct prices filled down here. So that's how we can conditionally fill down data in Power Query. And this is great when you need to fill down data, but don't necessarily want to bleed into other categories of your data when you're filling down. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.